wow this is crazy <laughs> um wait a minute now okay I don't even understand how this thing goes. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Facebook Live, of course, every time Facebook updates, they add some new enhancements and features to the live uh, broadcast. And um, so that beard and all that that you saw wasn't mine. It was part of this new enhancement thing they did. So I'm messing around with the buttons, and that's why you saw that. Good morning, everyone. God bless all of you. Go ahead and share, invite. I'm still trying to figure out how to use the new uh, Facebook uh, Live app. It's brand new. They just enhanced it, so, you know, trying to figure out how to do that. I have to stop and get gas for my car. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. TGIF, thank God the weekend is here. We're going into the middle of August. Can you believe that? The middle of August, guys. Go ahead and send some invites out. I actually have to... I'm going to stop and get gas, but while I'm waiting, I'll be speaking to you um, and just giving you guys some updates. So remember, every Wednesday, I have a live prayer call every single Wednesday. I may be changing, flipping that over to video because what I'm finding, a live video, because what I'm finding is a lot of people, unfortunately, don't have, uh, they're not able to call the phone number. Maybe their particular carrier doesn't allow them to call in. So I'm going to probably switch over to video for now on instead of doing the actual call. Now, Facebook just released, so no longer... You can do just audio if you want. Instead of having a video and audio, now they'll let you do complete audio. So for those of us that are ugly and we don't want to show our face, we could just do audio. I'm just kidding, guys. But I'm going to I'm going to try that out just with the audio. It'll be the same thing Facebook Live except uh the only difference is is going to be is uh It'll be a video instead of a phone call. So that's every Wednesday. I'll, feel, I'll keep you guys uh, in tune to that. So I'm at the gas station real quick. On my way to work as usual. Hope you guys are having a great day. God bless all of you. Um, and, if, and if I can, I mean, I don't even know how to get rid of. There's just so many things on here. While we're waiting, guys, give it like another minute or two. Hello. Hi. Hi, can I have Phil regular, please? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you see <laughs> the new enhancement, look what it does. You can do all these funny look, look at that. That one's a new one. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Black and white. While we're waiting, guys, see what this is gonna do. Um, wow, there's just so many. Look at that. Triple threat. Give me a second, guys. I know you're waiting. How about that one? That one will make you dizzy. What's this one? That one just makes me look really pale. Uh, wow, look at that. That's awesome. So, of course, as you can see, um, hmm, I kind of like that one. There are a lot of enhancements uh, with the video. Am I red? It's actually making me red. I can pretend I have glasses on. So this is all new with the Facebook Live. Wow, amazing. I have to play around with this. Oh, I like this one. It looks like I ha there's a glow. I'll use the glow. As soon as, as, soon as my, uh, my thing is done here, the, the gas, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. But guys, go ahead and share um, the uh, the video, please. Many people need prayer. Many people need uh, direction and clarity. Remember that uh, that God is good. Wow, this one's pretty cool. Let me see this one. No, I don't like that one. Wow, there's just so many. If I if you like football, uh, 
I don't know. I guess I got flowers on my head. Uh, let's see. This is crazy. I'm just testing them out, guys. I, I promise you I'm going to start. This is really awesome. They really came up with a lot of a lot of enhancements. Some of them I don't really get what they what they're supposed to be for. Look at that one. Oh no. That'll make you dizzy. One second, guys. There's just so many. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back to um no. All right, we'll stick with that one. Okay. God bless all you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, if you can, guys, send some invites out. I don't even know how to uh, add uh, people. Oh, wait. Let me send a couple invites real quick. And then I'll get started here. So, guys, do the same if you can. I noticed that um, when I start the video, usually a, a couple minutes in, people will start to jump on. And I'm trying to get people to jump on in the beginning so they don't miss the prayer part. And, you know, the talk part, of course. All right, send some invites out. God bless you. All right, that's enough. Okay. This is cool, though. I like this. new. It's like a new toy. Something to play around with. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good night. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, Pee Wee Herman. I'm trying to get back to just normal. Enter. Ooh, no, no, no. All right, guys, I'm leaving now. Uh, good morning. God bless you all. What's up, brother AT? God bless you, my friend. <clears throat> We're going to pray, guys, here in just, in just a minute. As soon as I move. Um, I'll give her one of my cards. Here, I'm going to give you one of those cards. You should check that out. Motivation and all that and prayer. It works. See you later. All right, guys. I gave her one of my cards. God bless you guys. Good morning. Know that God is good. I'm excited. Um, the Lord has been really revealing and showing things to me. Um, and it's amazing when you start to really trust God, when you begin to, to, to walk with him, obedience, it's amazing. His promises are true. When we begin to walk in obedience to him, he'll start to reveal more of himself. Good morning. God bless you, brother. God bless all of you. He'll begin to start to reveal more of himself, guys. I'm telling you, try it out. You know, the devil wants us to think. <clears throat> he wants us to believe that if we start to give ourselves to God, we're going to be bored. We're going to be unhappy. Uh, we're we're going to be sad. It's the, there's the, there's no fun. Let me tell you something. The joy that God gives you, and this is so true. I, as long as I've been seeking after God's heart, as long as I've been reading and learning and praying, a lot of times we forget that the joy of the Lord is enough to sustain us. It's enough to keep us going. It, it's enough to fill those voids that we have. You know, a lot of times as human beings, <clears throat> as sinners, when we walk in the, or when we, we, because we have the flesh, we're looking to fill this void that we have inside of us. And let me tell you something, we'll fill it with drugs, pornography, lust, materialism, things of the world, you know, possessions, money. We will try to fill that void with all of these things that have no life in them. Listen, guys. <clears throat> we begin to try to fill that void that we have because we're all... See, this is the glory of God. Because, look, each and every one of us is born with that 
void. Each and every one of us is born with an emptiness inside. And that's there's a reason for that. Every generation, every empire, every society throughout history has yearned and searched for a higher meaning in life, for God. And a lot of them, they start to find these false gods. But we have this void, and let me tell you, the joy, the joy of the Lord, it's amazing because it's the satisfaction and the peace that it gives you, just as the word says, it says that we will have a peace that surpasses all understanding. Think about this, guys. And a lot of us have not had, given ourselves a chance to experience that peace. We're so busy in the world, we're so busy trying to fill that void with other things outside of God that we never have the opportunity to experience that peace, that love, that fulfillment. We never give our, we cheat ourselves out of being able to have that fulfillment because we're so busy chasing after the things of this world. Guys, I'm telling you from experience, I'm telling you from my heart, listen, listen, I know because I've done it too. I know because the times in my life when I did backslide, I know that it wasn't worth it. It's not worth it. And you begin to realize, it's like, I always like to use the analogy of the hot iron, you know? You tell a child, don't touch that, it's hot. Now, every most children will have that curiosity and they'll wanna go and touch it just to see what is hot. And they touch it and they burn themselves. But then you're gonna have that one or two those few people that will continue to go back to that and continue touching it and burning themselves. So some people, it takes a little longer for them to learn. But what I'm saying to you is, we, when, we go, when we go back into the world, when we backslide, when we, when we decide that we can handle everything on our own and we begin to fall, what we realize, oh my God, I'm touching this hot iron again. I thought I had it all figured out. I thought that my way was better than God's way. And this is where this is where the deception comes in, the separation from God comes in, this is where the pain comes in, the confusion comes in, the feeling of worthlessness, the feeling of neediness comes in. And it's listen, confusion, all this stuff, this is not of God. This is not of God. So we have to keep in mind, listen, we have to chase God daily. Daily. Caution. Road construction on New Jersey 42. Lady always interrupts me. We have to chase him daily, guys. It's a new beginning. Every morning is a new beginning. Every morning. And it's a new day. Despite what you did yesterday, despite what happened yesterday, it doesn't matter. Good morning, good morning, guys. I'll, I'll give you shout outs later. But listen, it doesn't matter. Today's a new day. Christ is saying, come as you are right now the way that you are. I don't care if you're a prostitute, if you're a pimp, if you're a drug addict, uh, if, if you're a pornography addict, if you've been cheating on your spouse, if you just robbed the biggest bank yesterday. Listen, now is the time. Today is the day, guys. I'm gonna, I ask the Holy Spirit to let me speak with authority today to reach those of you who need to hear. Father God, let the ones that need to hear, let them open up their ears, their minds, Father God, and their hearts to what you're about, for the prayer that you're about to bestow upon them today, Father God. I'm asking God to really open up your senses, guys. At some point, we have to wake up. At some point, we have to make a decision, guys. We gotta stop, look, look, we're adults. Most of you watching are adults, most of you, I would think. There's a, comes a time in our life that we have to make a decision for God. There's a time in our life where we have to make a decision to say, you know what, I'm gonna follow you. You know, God, <clears throat> God wants to sometimes not, he, he doesn't want, listen, some of us have something that we do habitually, whatever it is, and God is saying, lay it aside. You think that that thing that you're doing, whatever it is, is bringing you joy. Listen, guys, we think that that habitual sin 
It's habitual for a reason, right? Habitual means we continually do it. And we think in our, the reason we go back to it is because we get some kind of joy, some kind of contentment, or some kind of fulfillment out of it. But guess what? It's only temporary. It's only temporary. You understand? There's a way that seems right into a man, but the, but the end is destruction. You understand? So what we think is right <clears throat> outside of God doesn't lead to anything good but to destruction. See, the enemy always comes in and he, and he presents it to you on a silver-plated platter. Silver-plated. Or a gold-plated platter, some of you. And it looks so appealing and so nice. And sin, of course, feels good. Of course it feels good. That's the whole point. Immediate satisfaction, guys. And see, that's where we get caught. God can give that to you too. God can change you in an instant if you allow him. See, we have to allow him. Many of us are praying for change in our life. We're asking God, change me, Lord. And he will, but, but, but we have to work with him a little bit. I'm not saying that we're saved by works. We are saved by grace. Grace, not by ourselves, lest any man should boast, not by any good works or any works, period. We're saved by grace, but, but we have a work to do too. And that's to continually pray, to continually seek God. The word of God says that seek God with all of your heart, love him with all of your might. It is not supposed to be easy. Listen, but it's worth it, guys. It's worth it. Because that joy that I spoke of a few minutes ago, it when you when that comes in, when you begin to experience that joy and you begin to feel that joy, nothing in this world can compare. Nothing in this world can compare. Nothing in this world can compare. Listen, we serve an almighty God. We serve an almighty God. He is the beginning and the end, the first and the last, from everlasting to everlasting. No end, of folks. <laughs> he is complete in all things and the creator of all things. If you haven't found that relationship with him, listen, our responsibility as a believer is not only to confess our sins, it's to repent of our sins, meaning to have a change of heart, give them up to God, but it's also to build our relationship with him. It's not one-sided. We have our responsibility too. And having a relationship with God is seeking him daily, is looking for him daily, is praising and praying to him daily. Every When you have a chance, read his word as much as you can. Listen, we serve an almighty God, guys. I'm telling you, he has showed me so much. And I was going through something very, very, very heavy, very personal. Some of you may or may not know about it. Um, and I only, I only entrusted a few people to, you know, with, with in confidence of what was happening. But, um, but God told me, this is what he told me. He said, look, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. My anointing is over you. My anointing is over your family. My protection is over your family. You're covered by the blood from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. This is the God that we serve. And we have to trust him. Whatever decision that God makes in our lives, we have to trust him, guys. Because it's for the best. And I know it's hard. When we get into the flesh, of course it's difficult. And we want to fight God. We want to wrestle with God. But we're not going to win. We're not going to win. Yeah, we can become defiant. Yes, we can walk away from God. Yes, we have that choice. But God's going to wait for you. God's going to be patient and wait for you. But don't wait too long. Don't wait too long. Listen, if you've walked away, what God is saying right now in this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook or twi Twitter, Twitter, whatever it's called, <clears throat> wherever you're watching this, wherever you are in the world, listen, there is a God. And there's only one way to him, through the Son, Jesus Christ. 
He is the way, he is the truth, he is the light. Nobody comes to the Father except through him. That's it. And I know there are religions and, and alternative uh, belief systems and science and all these other ideologies and philosophies that will disagree with that. If you go back a couple of years, and I'm getting ready to pray, <clears throat> If you go back just a few years, I think it was four or five years ago, Time Magazine, Time, by the way, this is a magazine, they put out uh, the most influential spiritual leader in history. You can Google this, guys. Hold on. Oh, unpaid. I think I got to put some money in there. The most influential religious or spiritual leader, the most uh, influential, guess who was number one on the list? Jesus Christ. What's the number one best-selling book of all time? The Bible. There's a reason for it, folks. There is a reason. God will have his way. He will have his way. I spoke about this on a call the other day, and I, I mentioned that, do you know that the Muslims who also have, I don't know if it's a billion or two billion followers, do you know that they also believe in Jesus? They actually, Jesus is spoken about in the Quran more than the prophet Muhammad. There's a reason. They deny him in the fact that he was God or the son of God or that he was crucified. But they do believe that he was a great man. And they speak about him in the Quran. So think about this for a minute. So you have the Muslims who do believe in Jesus because they write about him in their holy book. And they're, they're one to two billion of the population of the world. Then you have the Christians and then the Catholics and all of the sub-religions of Christianity. So the majority of the world has either believes in Jesus or they heard about Jesus. What does that tell you? That tells you that it is truth. It tells you, look, many are called and few are chosen. Listen, of course, I know there's a difference between knowing who Jesus is and having a relationship with Jesus. You can say you believe in him, but if your actions, if your fruits are in contradiction of what you what you believe or what you say, then you're truly not a follower of Christ. Listen, that had to be pounded in my head for a long time because I wanted to hold on. Listen, I'm confessing something. I wanted to hold on to little sins, little things that I wanted to do because I thought it was okay but it's not. Listen, be ye holy. Be ye holy for I am holy. This is what God is saying. We serve a holy God without any sin, without any, there's no lie. There's no malfunction in him. I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Don't twist it. We're going to fall short every day. But our goal, I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sum it up in one answer for you. You ready? I'm going to sum it up in one answer. This is how you do it. You ready? I don't know how, how to give you any other truth but this. Listen. Of course, you must accept Christ, right? It's a long answer, but I'm going to give it to you in one. You have to confess that. He is the only way to God, that he died on the cross, that he was crucified, that he rose on the third day, right? Ask him to come into your heart. But with that, love. That is the four letter word and how I'm going to sum it up for you is love. If we operate, if we have that first part and we operate in love, the, Jesus says himself, when the command, when the uh, when the disciples came to him and they said, "Which of these commandments, which which of the, of these commandments is the greatest?" What did oh. what did Jesus say? He said, 
This is what he said. He said, to love God, your Father, with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, with all of your might. And then he said, to love your neighbor or your brother as you love yourself. So I keep using that, all the hearts, look at the hearts, love. If we accept Christ, and then we operate in love, guess what? We cover all, we cover everything. If everything you do is from love, because that's what Christ commanded, we're going to cover a multitude of sins. We're going to cover a multitude of areas. Think about that. It's common sense. So Christ is asking us not only to accept him as his, our, our Lord and Savior, not only to confess, not only to to uh, repent, but he's asking us to live and operate in love. If you operate in love and not in fear, Caution. Entering guess what? On the I-95. You're going to be building your relationship with Christ and you're going to be walking the way that Christ wants you to walk. You're going to want to pray more because you're going to love. You're going to want to read more because you're going to because you're walking in love. You're going to want to help people more because you're walking in love. You're going to want to serve God more because you're walking in love, guys. This is what it's about. And if you know in your heart that you have there's something that's blocking you from operating in love like unforgiveness, then you need to give that to God. If there's deception in your heart and you know if there's something in your heart, whatever it is that's contrary to God, that's contrary to love, and you know it's there, maybe you have jealousy or envy towards somebody. Listen, the only one that can take that away is, is, is God. That's it. Jesus is the only one that can remove that from you. If you know that there's something in your heart, listen, if your heart is contaminated, if your heart is polluted, I know I talked about only praying, but man, God is leading me right now. Listen, if your heart is polluted right now, and be honest, be honest with yourself. Don't lie to yourself because your eternity can depend will depend on this. If there's something in your heart right now that is blocking you, give it to God, confess it to Him. And if you're not sure, ask the Lord to search your heart to look through your heart from the top of my heart to the bottom of my heart, Father God. Search it, Father. Search the in innermost chambers of my heart. The innermost chambers of it. And if you find anything in there that is not of you, remove it, bring it to the surface. Cast it away from me. Listen, I'm speaking from experience. I'm a witness to you, folks. There was a time that I had this this envy and jealousy and hatred in my heart unforgiveness in my heart listen I'm speaking from truth and of course how am I going to serve God with a heart like that how can I serve God with a heart that's polluted how how can I love on someone else when my heart has all this garbage in it hello think about it Lord clean that's why I'm the Bible says, uh, create in me a clean heart. That's why the Bible says it, because God knows already. A lot of us are walking around with a polluted heart, a dirty heart. You want it to be clean, then you need to ask for it. Renew my mind, Father God. I'm touching my hair so softly like I have all this hair, like I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> but... Listen, create in me a clean heart, Father God. Touch your heart and say that. Touch it and say it. Touch your head and say, Lord, renew my mind. Remove anything in my mind that is not of you. Clear out my heart. Remove anything that is not of you. Come into me, into my heart. Live inside of me. Guide me and direct me. This is what you have to do. I repent of my sins, Lord, and name those sins. Call them out. Call them out when you're praying. 
Call them out when you're speaking. Call them out when you're worshiping and say, Lord, I, 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 I give these to you. I renounce this sin of whatever, adultery. I renounce this sin of fornication. I renounce this sin of pornography. I renounce this sin of unforgiveness. These are all sins. Renounce them. Name them. Call them out. <clears throat> if somebody does you wrong, aren't you going to... Well, I'm using this as a worldly example. If someone does you wrong, at some point you're going to want to call that person out. Call out your sin because your sin separates you from God. Your sin is doing you wrong. Your sin, the wages of your sin is death. Of our sin is death. So we have to call it out. We have to renounce it. Father God, we come before you right now. Under your holy presence, Father God, your word says where two or three or more are gathered, you are there in the midst, Father God. So we call upon you right now to cover each and every one of us before we go to work, before we go to school, before some of us go back to sleep, Father God. We ask that you cover us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the great I am. You are the great Alpha, the Omega, Father. There is no other above you. There is no other name above Above your name father God your word says that every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow father God so we worship and honor you today father God there is no other king like you there is no other prince like you there is no other person like you father God you are it you are the one you are the way you are the great I am and we worship and we honor you today we worship and honor you today Lord we ask you father God we're touching our heart right now as we speak to you Father, there might be something in my heart that is not of you. There may be some resentment left or some animosity left or some jealousy or hatred left, Father God. I'm asking you right now, renouncing those things in the name of Jesus, Father God. Call those sins out right now. Take it away from me, Lord. Remove it from me because I know, I know that I can't walk with you if I carry this stuff around, Father God. If I carry the luggage around of my past, Father God. If I carry the luggage around of animosity and jealousy, Father God. I give them to you. Take this away from me. Take these burdens away from me because your word says to lay all of our burdens upon you. And we're doing that right now, Father God. Father God, created me a clean heart and renew my mind. Renew my mind and my thinking, Father God, and let me think about you. Let your thoughts prevail. Let your way prevail. Let uh, prevail. Let your <coughs> will prevail, Father God, because I know your way is better. I know that that your your direction is better, Father God. Be the compass and the GPS of my heart. Be the compass and the GPS of my life, Father God, because without you, I am nothing. I'm just dust. I'm mere dust, Father God. But I confess to you today, this morning, right now, in front of all these hundreds and thousands of people that are watching, right now, you are the way. Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth. He is the light. Nobody comes to you, Father, except through him. So, Jesus, I accept you right now into my heart. I accept you into my life. Be the Lord and master of my life. Take over my thoughts. Renew and clean my heart out. I know that with a dirty, yucky heart, polluted heart, I can't completely serve you the way that you need me to. So I'm bringing that to your attention right now. And I'm asking you to clean it out, Father God. It is time to clean house, God is saying. He said it is time to clean house. It is time to clean house. What he told me earlier today before I got on the video is many, some of you are called to preach. Some of you are called to give his word and you haven't done anything yet. You have this fear. Listen, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not, please don't misunderstand what I'm telling you, that you have to be perfect to serve God or preach for him or speak for him. But what God is saying is you have to start somewhere. You have to start right now. Today is the day, folks. Today is the day. We don't know what's going to happen in the next hour, in the next minute, in the next day. Anything can happen. World War III could break out. God forbid you can pass away. Listen, today is a day of salvation. You don't want to go into eternity unsure. You don't want to go over the other side and not know. Guys, this is no joke. Listen, I do this for the love of God, not for any praise or honor, nothing. 
all praise, I give all praise, I give all thanks, I give all honor to the Most High. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the director of my ways. And I acknowledge him in every way, every inkling way possible. And I thank him. Father, we thank you. We thank you for being in our lives. We thank you for our food, clothing, and shelter. We thank you for directing our ways. We thank you for bringing us to this video today, Father God. We thank those who have shared and who will continue to share. We thank you right now, Father, that you get all the glory, that you get all the praise, that you get all the honor. There is no other God greater than you. Yes, there are other gods, but they're little gods, Father. You are the creator of all things. You are the one true God. And we want to honor you today. We want to honor you today. And don't be afraid to pray. Don't be afraid to tell people about Jesus. Don't be afraid to tell people about it. If we are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of us. Guys, it's time. God has been waiting for some of you for so long. Listen to me. He's telling me to tell you this. He's been waiting for some of us for so long. Some of you are called to preach his word, to evangelize, to go out into the streets, and you haven't done anything yet. You're sitting on your, your bum, your butt. He's saying, get off of your butt and get to work. Much work is needed to be done. The devil doesn't sleep, folks, so we cannot sleep. The devil doesn't rest, we cannot rest. <clears throat> Call on God right now. Call on Him from your heart. Call on Him and say, Lord, I know my heart is not right. I know that I have this besetting sin in my life. Remove it, Father God. I give it to you. I am nothing without you. Wow. Father, we just want to honor you and serve you the best that we can, Father God. We just thank you for this day. We thank you for this beautiful day today, Father God. And we honor you, Father God. We pray for this country, Father God. We pray for our government and leadership, Father God, that they make sound decisions when it comes to national security, Father God. We pray for the country of North Korea, South Korea, Japan, China, and Russia, Father God. Father, we see what they're doing in the news, Father God. We know what's going on, Father God, behind the scenes. We know that you <clears throat> that you oversee everything, Father God. So we are trusting you, Father God. We are trusting your word, Father God. But bring peace to this nation, Father God. Bring peace to this country, Father God. Father God, go into all the hospitals right now, Father God. There's many that are sick, Father God, that, that want to get better. God is saying that <clears throat> there are those of you that have been waiting for so long, and there's people in the hospital right now that are sick, that, that wish that they were in the position that you were in, that wish that they could do the things that you're doing right now. They don't have that ability. Pray for those people, folks. But get off your rumps and do something. Do something. Get up and worship and praise God and seek Him with all of your heart, with all of your strength, with all of your might. Do it now. Do it now. He's going to bless you. Don't wait until the last minute. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until you're on your deathbed or in the hospital with a terminal illness, God forbid. <clears throat> Father, I cover each and every one right now by the power that you invest in me as your humble servant, Father God. I, I pray, Father God, for a hedge of protection around each and every individual that's watching, every soul, everyone that'll watch in the future, their families, their children, their co-workers, their neighbors, Father God, people in their neighborhoods, Father God. In fact, we're going to spread this anointing throughout the land, Father God, and cover each and every person, Father God, to the homeless, Father God, to, to, to the person, the mentally ill, Father God, to, to those that that are lost, of those, we're going to go across into the prisons now, Father God, and we're going to cover those individuals, Father God, let your word be heard, let your word be seen in these prisons, Father God, shed your light upon their souls, Father God, because they need love too, Father God, the Lord is telling me this, a prison ministry, somebody either is doing it now, or they want to do it, inbox me, please, it's time, it is time, it is time to bring the word of God. We have to continue to bring the word of God to the nations. Wow, this is the longest prayer call I ever did. 
Father, we just want to glorify your name. We want to glorify you and we want to honor you and we want to stay with you, Father. Never let us go, Father God. Whatever the enemy has against us, whatever plans, whatever schemes, whatever traps, Father God, that he has against us, Father God, we cast those down right now in the name of Jesus because your word says that we tread on snakes and scorpions, Father God, that we already have the authority, that we have the victory, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we are covered by his blood, that we are protected by his blood, Father God, that he will lead us out of the desert, that he will <clears throat> lead us out of the wilderness, Father God says it's time for some of you that are in the wilderness right now. You're in the wilderness and some of you are there because you want to be there. Because you feel comfort in being there in that depression, in that addiction. You feel comfort because it's all you know. But God says, I have something new for you, my son. I have something new for you, my daughter. Don't be like the, the Israelites when they were <clears throat> in the desert. They were there for 40 years too long. They could have had their blessing sooner. They could have been to the land of milk and honey much sooner. God is telling you, it is time to come out of the desert now. The world needs to hear from you. They need to hear from you. He says, God says, I have given you gifts. I have given you gifts and talents that you need to bestow upon the world. Now is the time. We are in those days, those last days. <clears throat> Whew. It's crazy crazy. I glorify your name, Father. I glorify you above all names. I know people probably look at my video and think, this guy is crazy. I'm crazy for the Lord. I'm crazy for Jesus. I'm crazy for the Holy Spirit. I'm crazy for the anointing that he has given me. The same he has given it to you too. I'm crazy for the love that God has for me. Just like I'm crazy for the love that he has for you. If you would only let him, if you would only step out of your own way, if you would only open up your heart, if you would stop being stubborn, if you would stop trying to do it your way, God says you've tried all the other, you tried the rest. He said, try the best. He said, let me lead your life. Let me guide you. Let me direct your path. Lord, be a light unto our feet, Father God, and direct our ways and our paths, Father God. Let us walk through the darkness, but shine like a light, Father God, so that others can see you and us. I can keep on going, folks. Share this video. Share it, share it, share it, share it. It's crazy. The Spirit is all over me today. And I thank God for that. I thank Him because that is a gift. I appreciate that, Father God. Let this gift spread to each and every individual on this line right now. Everyone that is watching right now, Father God. Give them a fresh anointing, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that you are with them. Cover them, Father God. Let them feel your presence right now, Father God. Show them, Father God, that you got them. He's saying, I got you, is what he's saying. Somebody on here right now is worried about, I don't know if it's housing or an apartment. You're either in rent or, or you're moving or you're trying to move or you're trying to get a house. Somebody inbox me or put it in the comment section. Show that the Holy Spirit is speaking right now. This isn't Rob. This is the Holy Spirit. Somebody's having an issue. I don't, it's rent. 900. I don't know. 913. I don't know what that means. Somebody right now, put it in the comments right now. Let's show that the Holy Spirit is real. That he speaks. I don't know where 913 came from. Maybe that's an address. Maybe that's the amount of money you need to come up for your rent. I don't know what it is. Put it in the comments. Let's show that the glory of God is here. He wants you. He wants what he's saying is is well, I lost my thought on the 913. I'm not sure you're worried about your rent, your housing, you're moving, he's showing me housing or moving or trying to move. I don't know. I keep seeing that. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. Listen, he says, I will supply all of your needs. All of your needs. He didn't say some. He didn't say a few. He didn't say just a couple. He said all of your needs. But listen, guys, you have to, we have to submit to him. You know what submitting to God is? People make this thing such a hard subject. Submitting to God is just being obedient to him. That's all. It's being obedient to him. That's it. Through our obedience, we prove our faith to God. There's no greater form of faith 
than obedience, guys. Did you hear that? How it's easy, it's common sense. We make it out to be this project, like this puzzle, like this, like it's scientific or something, like it's rocket science. God says no. Love and be obedient. Of course, accept Christ. We talked about that. That's number one. But love and just be obedient to him. That's all. It's it's it, well, the devil is a lie. He's trying to disrupt my video. But listen, real quick, guys, because I'm almost at work. <coughs> this is the longest video that I've ever done, prayer video I've ever done in my life. Listen. <coughs> Love and obedience. Love, well, accept Christ. Love and walk in obedience to Him. And I'm telling you, when you do that, He's going to show you a lot of things. He's going to give you a lot of things. He's going to reveal a lot of things to you. Share this video. If this is on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, and I know it's long, subscribe. <coughs> If this is on Facebook, please share it. All you got to do on this side of the video on Facebook or somewhere on here, you hit the little share button. And when you hit the little share button, it'll ask you, you can copy the link and you can paste that link onto other pages. Guys, just do it. Stop being afraid to glorify the name of Christ. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. I want people to be healed. I want people to come to Christ. I want people to know who he is. I know this video was long, but you know what? Every, every second of this video is to glorify God, is to let you know that he does love you and that he wants a relationship with you. And he's telling you it's time. And he's asking you to trust him, guys. Listen, I love you. God bless you. I hope that this prayer has touched you. And if it has, please comment below. I can't read anything right now. You know I'm a little blind. <laughs> God loves you guys. I honor him and I thank him from my heart. I would be nothing without him. What else can I say? My videos aren't fancy. I don't put all these crazy music behind it. I have a couple that do, but for the most part, I don't put any, 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 I just speak the truth. I speak it from my heart, you know, because I want God to be honored. I want you to come to the truth, guys. I love you. God bless you. Share.